Fast Five is the Paul Walker, Vin Diesel, The Rock, mega blockbuster hit movie where they show the world bigger is always better. It starts off after Diesel decided it's time to man up I ain't running anymore. and face the music. You are hereby sentenced 25 years to life. On second thought, fuck that and everyone in this bus. Now they're fugitives too. And his accomplices, Brian O'Connor and Mia Toretto. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Fucking idiot. Now they're in Brazil, but all the double cheese and fries cost like five bucks, which is total bullshit. So they meet up with an old friend to find out what the fuck. But he tells them he was getting too sandwich crazy. Ended up free falling through South America, hitting every hellhole on the way down. And had to quit cold tuna. But nobody gives a shit about him and his stupid problems. We want sweet cars and train heists. It looks like you both could use the payday. Fuck you. But yeah, that would be really helpful. Now it turns into Mad Max. And we get some of the most pointless, yet crucial shit you'll ever see in the first 10 minutes of this movie. So everything's going perfectly when these dinosaurs have a problem with a female driver. Look, dickheads, it's the 21st century where there's no place for misogyny and they begin to lecture them on how diversity is their strength in the world of train robberies when she immediately gets lost and goes the wrong way. Once the confusion passes, he asks what the fuck, but Diesel's got nothing, so they just attack. Then, son of a bitch, one of the passengers looks out a window, which is something they never anticipated. We're being robbed! Don't stop the train! So they all need to pick their cars and take them right now. They tell him, not that one, it's already theirs, and he tells them to eat shit. He's not stealing that, he's stealing the train. Which doesn't work out for reasons too numerous to list, but everyone agrees it would have been badass. And great, now there's a desert bridge. This whole thing is really going to shit. He had his heart set on drifting that train all over South America. But if there's one thing this franchise holds sacred, it's gritty realism. So Diesel comes flying in from out of nowhere and tells him to jump while swerving like a total dickhead. This is as good as it's gonna get, so fuck it. Now it's just a matter of hitting the gas and falling to safety. When they head back home, she has terrible news. They're blaming us for the killing of those D agents on the train. Which is insane, because you know the train derailed after this shit. And they should be getting credit for everyone. But we'll get to that later. Right now, they just want to know how the fuck you got the car in here. Now they have to take it apart so they can rebuild it outside. What a mess. Yeah, no shit. That night, Diesel learned some dark shit about Fat Burger's past. Almost wish I didn't see that. He's talking about being in a Seagal movie. Everyone wishes they hadn't seen it. Almost. Because there is the scene where he's standing like this for some reason, which will never stop being hilarious. But now your box office poison. Get out. Please don't. If I can set things right. Fuck 
Fuck you, this is a real movie. You don't belong here. Get out! Then, son of a bitch, someone tips off the studio, so they send The Rock to clean this shit show up. Stay the fuck out of my way. He's pretty sure he has the wrong address because there's no fucking way anyone got a GT40 through here. But oh shit, now there's a gunfight. And the smart play is to pick a random direction and just fucking go for it. <laughs> And things are going great until he runs into these Brazilian fans who greet him the Brazilian way. Thanks, he appreciates your support. Meanwhile, they're parkour Benny Hilling it across rooftops. When, oh shit, that's a big drop onto the most poorly constructed roof she's ever seen. So he tells her don't be stupid, gravity's whatever you want it to be which is a total dick move, and it's gonna take the homeowner like 20 minutes to fix that. They manage to escape and are coming up with a game plan. We need to split up. No. We have no choice but to split I'm up. Pregnant. Not after that shit. But seriously, he was talking, wait your fucking turn. But now that he knows there's four of them, it evens the odds, so fuck being safe. Back at their place, The Rock's trying to figure out how, even if they manage to get the car through those narrow stairs and walkways, how the fuck did they get it inside? Doesn't make any sense. So she tries to figure it out with math and science and shit, but this is a Fast and the Furious movie. We don't do that. And sure, Eddie's using science to check the engine for some sick shit. But that's because Eddie's thorough. And where did this suburban come from? God damn it. Which is when Eddie tells them, you won't believe what the spark plugs were doing. Now they're sneaking around like ghosts <laughs> with extra beer, cause she's drinking for two now. But they're both lightweights and pass out early while they talk about smart things. Can't keep running, Don. You gotta get out. Oh, you mean like this. I wonder what happened with that. Fucking idiot. Plus, what's your face is pregnant now. We can't be doing responsible shit. We gotta go right past bat shit insane, but not quite to Seagal level stupid and hit the sweet spot of Nicolas Cage. That's right. Then we're gonna need a team. No shit. Cause you're not Nicolas Cage. First, we're gonna need a chameleon. Well, too bad, you're getting him. What else? A fast talker. He sued Home Depot because someone else tried to use his credit card so close enough. We're gonna need someone who's good with circuits. Fuck you, here's a rapper. Riz is gonna have walls. That's true, there could be walls at some point. Have some more rappers. What else? We're gonna need two precision drivers. Guys that don't crack under pressure. Guys that never lose. Well, tough shit, cause that's not happening. Yeah, what else we need? Most importantly, utilities and weapons. Someone who ain't afraid to throw down. Eat shit, you're getting a model with a really weird condition. Sexy legs, baby girl. What time do they open? Same time as I pull this trigger. Want me to open them? He needs to think about it. Meanwhile, The Rock is really hung up on this and oh my God, there's another one in there. This shit is getting too weird. So anyways, now they're robbing underwear banks. But son of a bitch, all they have is US dollars, which is worthless down here. So now they're drift racing because fucking obviously I think I'm in love. And breaking into women's homes to steal their jewelry. Then more drifting. A stupid idea or two. Invisible cars. Minute long quarter mile cop car drag races. The plan's coming together perfectly when Fatburger forces his way back into the movie and ruins everything but when he reminds Diesel about the pacifier and Walker about that fucked up shit he did to Rachel Lee Cook, they all agree that none of that's close to as bad as a Seagal movie. 
but they'll give him a second chance. But just then, they must have found Platform 9 and 3 quarters because now their vehicles are out and The Rock does the biggest dick move. You f***ing monster! There was the guy everybody hates or the easy target pregnant lady. Why would you go for the charger? So after slamming their fists around like two blind drunken apes, Diesel gets the advantage when the monolith inspires him to use a tool and he starts to channel his inner Joe Rogan. After all that, he fucking missed. The Rock can't believe these fuckers were just standing there and were gonna let him get his head bashed in. And because women hate women, all she does is point her gun at her the whole time. They tell him to eat shit because they saw this. So go fuck yourself. She tells him that she just knows this bitch is out to get her. So now they're busted and Diesel's a nervous wreck because of what happened last time. But The Rock reassures him that there's nothing to worry about and to stop being dramatic. Now give him a second to Brazil greet some more fans. Which is when Diesel can't hold it in any longer and tells him the Scorpion King is what made him the man he is today. It's been fun, but they have things to do and oh my god, why is she driving? Which is probably why the guy who was just fine when he got in is now dying. You gotta meet my son, Nico. No, we named him after you. Thanks, bro. He promises if he ever has a son, he's gonna name him after him. Now, they're ready for the big heist, and we get the most ridiculous scene that destroys your suspension of disbelief. And forever tainted the entire franchise. In the most disgusting and insulting display of hubris and fantasy, where we're just supposed to believe whatever bullshit they throw at us, their credibility goes from sub zero to now plain zero when after this game of Highway Bridge Safe Pong. The Rock and What's-Her-Name show up, and you hear them close their doors. But The Rock's door never closed. This is total bullshit. Going from realistic shit, like her being believable as a dump truck driver, to this is just jarring. F*** this franchise, I'm out. You believe in ghosts? And now I'm back.